In today's budget brawl, we have four blended Irish whiskeys going head to head. In the first corner, our reigning champion coming in at $20, Patty's Old Irish Whiskey. In the second corner, our current runner up coming in at $25, Bushmills Original. And in the third corner, coming in at $29, Jameson Irish Whiskey. And finally, in the fourth corner, coming in at $21, Hellcat Maggie. All of today's competitors weigh in at 80 proof. The winner of this brawl will be named the reigning champion of blended Irish whiskey and will face off against future challengers for this title. Let's brawl! Thanks, Joyce. As always, we're going to start with whiskey A. We'll go to whiskey D. We'll then take a small break, do whiskeys D through A, give our final results, and reveal what we got. So let's go ahead and jump right on into whiskey A. It's got that sweet grain note that I'm mm. used to smelling on Irish. Yeah, just basic. It doesn't smell metallic, which I have smelled in some Irishes. So that's a good sign. Buttery popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. That tastes good. Yeah, it does taste good. That's a solid start. I don't hate that at all. For my first drink of the day, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of nuances to it. It's my first drink of the day, but it tastes good. I don't. Good. Average. Irish whiskey. Yeah. It's a good place to start. It sets the bar. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to glass B. This one smells more grain. Yeah, I was going to say more funky. Yeah, more funky, more grain forward, almost a little sharp grain alcohol. Yeah. Funny that you say sharp. I almost get like a cheddar cheese. That's not what I meant by sharp, but... I know, but... <laughs> But no, I, I see what you're saying. It's a weird note, but I can see the cheddar like cheese. A, like a... Smell it. I say cheese, I don't say cheddar. No, no it's a sharp like cheese. A, so like a, a cheese popcorn. Cheddar. All right. Yeah. yeah. Cheddar popcorn? Yeah, good cheddar popcorn. I didn't say that. Just no, I don't know. I'm yeah, saying like, you know... Run not, in the mill. Not, a, not like the, not the one... The <laughs> not the one with like the, 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 the powder ch- cheese. Like. Actually, that's where I was going. Oh, right. <laughs> like the ones that come in the, like... Big the holiday, old holiday, the holiday tin, tin cans. Yeah. Yep, yep, that's what I think. Hmm, that's fine. It tastes a little more watery though, a little thinner. See, I I don't think that. I thought that one was more full than um, the first, but the, that may also be just that my palate's warming up and like is finding the notes. I feel already this is not going to be a very clean result. <laughs> I'm moving on to see. There is like nothing on the nose on this one. But I'm getting a lot of similar notes, just light. Okay, this one I'm starting to get like a more brittle caramel note. This one's just light. Yeah, yeah it is very light. I'm I'm having trouble picking anything up on the nose on this one. I think that's why I said like brittle. Yeah. Like that's like a lightness, like a brittleness to it. Oh, okay. I was thinking like peanut brittle. It, it, fragile, maybe? Gotcha. Never sip. That one had more spice notes to me. Yeah, but still very light. Yes. I'm, I'm getting salted caramel. Ooh, what is that note? I don't know. Describe it to me. Salted caramel, leather, and cocoa. It's like almost a meaty note. Moving on to glass D. Mm, this one has a metallic note I was talking about earlier. Yes. Yeah, I get that. Smells like a nickel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> different metals have different smells. You're right. Not a new nickel, though. No, no, no. Like a... An oxidized nickel. Yeah, like an aged nickel. A buffalo nickel. Be very specific. I think it's a little too specific. A good uh, 1964. <laughs> <laughs> that one tastes... That was surprising on the taste. Yeah, that was caramelly, actually. Very sweet. I actually liked the palate on that one. Got a soft sweetness, almost like cotton candy. Compared to the nose, the palate was way better than I was expecting. Yeah. I'll well, take a short break and then we'll come right back at it. But before we do, pause the video, leave a comment down below which whiskey you think is going to win. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button down below. I don't like saying like what we're doing. Hit the like button. But What do you want to say instead? Let us know down below. That's a comment. Or like. <laughs>
Uh, okay, I'm fine with what we said. All right, we took a small break, so now we're gonna go D through A. Glass D. Yeah, still a slight metallic note on the nose. Kind of perfumey. This time, I'm getting more grain notes. I'd say like a grain alcohol note, yeah. Yeah. Which obviously it's grain alcohol, it's whiskey. I'm I'm getting honeysuckle, like a sweet floral. You're thinking right about the perfumey note. Brown sugar. This smells to me like I'm in a bar. So the lady, old lady is wearing her perfume that is way more than she needs to be wearing. It Maybe smells Macy's? like grandma's perfume is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got what you're saying. <laughs> I am not quite sure how I feel about this whiskey. Because it has some interesting notes, but it's also a bit sharp. It's also really drying. Mm. That one dries your mouth out. I disagree, but okay. No, I do agree. I have a feeling that my ratings are going to be significantly different than yours. All right, glass C. Oh, I got a weird fruit note on that one. Yeah, me too. Like behind a, a little bit of a grain Like a ethanol. dragon fruit? I, I don't know. But like behind the grain ethanol note, there was a... Fruitiness. Maybe dragon fruit? I don't know. Definitely a tropical fruit yeah. of some sort. I was going to say a darker fruit. Maybe but plum. Mm. I could see plum. It's no blueberry, that's for sure. No. But it's fruity. Yeah. That's that's the big takeaway. There's fruit. Oh, that's sweet. Sweet and spicy. Yeah. yeah I got the spite, the spice this time around. Not like bourbon spice, but it's definitely some sort of barrel impacted spice. Like yes. Just peppery. Of course, black pepper. Mm -hmm. Maybe ginger. I'm going to move on to glass B if you are. This one I'm having a hard time getting a nose on. See, I feel like the nose on this one is like a semi compared to C. Much more present. Really? I definitely don't get that. Like the notes aren't as clear, but the nose itself, the overall, like just take a whiff. I get hit much harder on this. No, I'm having a hard time with this one. Still tastes watery. Are our glasses not in the same order? I'm still getting that cheddar popcorn. It has a little bit of spice to it as well, but I find the palate to be just too thin. The palate is thin. I, I do up, agree with you there. I picked up something on the finish. I can't quite place it. I haven't been paying attention to the finish a whole lot, but that one may have one of the better finishes. Let's move on to class A. Mm. Okay. This one's funky now. Dare I say it? Blueberry muffin. Blueberry I got it. Muffin. I got it too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought maybe you already found it with that other one that was fruity. Yeah. No, but I'm it's, it's I'm not just any blueberry muffin. It's like a gas station convenience store blueberry muffin. Like the ones where you open the plastic bag. Yeah. And it's like inside you pull it out and they're already moist all over. Yes. Yeah. Didn't like the palate though as, as much as I did the first time. See, I liked it much more this time around than the first time. I still liked it, but I didn't like it as much. Do you think the finish is a bit lacking? But I think the finish, I haven't really been paying super high attention to any of the finishes. And none of them drew my attention to them. I'm fairly certain we all know which one A is. <laughs> we all have a guess. We all yeah. have, I think we all have a guess, but we'll find out. All right, so that's glasses. D through A. We're going to take some time to break off, do some back-to-back -back comparisons on our own, and we'll come back with results in a moment. We're back and ready for results after comparing all of our individual rankings. We do have a final ranking. We definitely have a lot of variance amongst us, but we do have a final list of what each thing comes out to. So coming in last place is Glass B. I had Glass B in last. I had Glass B in second. I had B in third. So with those results, it comes in last total. Glass B was Hellcat Maggie. Okay, yeah, that checks out. Did you like Hellcat Maggie when we did it? I don't remember, but I apparently did today. Or enough. I mean, I liked it enough today. Coming in third place today is Glass D. For Glass D, I had that in last place. No, third place. I had it in third place. I had it in last. Wait. We can I had it in second. Yes. Yes. You messed up the notes is what you're saying. What I'm saying is... Did you when, misread things? When you asked me just a moment ago where I put B, I was wrong. I put B in third. Which does check out more to what I right, feel right. like I should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I put we, D in second. Okay, D was in second. That makes more sense. Glass D was 
Nasty was Patty. Which was our previous winner, was it not? Yep. Interesting. Well, first and second, I think last time was pretty like Yeah, they were they were tight. They were tight. Like there was yeah. not a decisive winner. I still like Patty. It's also the nicest bottle. It's the cheapest bottle. Going to MSRP. And it actually is the only bottle of cork. Coming in second place for us then is Glass C. I had Glass C in second place. I had Glass C in last place. Second. Glass C is Bushmills, which leaves Glass A, which is our unanimous uh, first place bottle. Not unanimous. Not unanimous. Very much agreed. James. But decisively. Decisively. I had it in first. Yeah, and actually, I, I had it in second. I said last, and we're really bad at this today. I said I had Bushmills in second. I didn't. I had it in first. I had Jameson in second. But you guys both put it in first. I put it in second place. Comes out on top. I'm not surprised by the winner or the loser. I'm, a, I'm not really surprised that Bushmills beat out Patty this time either. No, I think I think Patty and Bushmills were close. Bushmills remains as the runner-up. This has happened before with us where our winner from our previous round ends up in third place, whereas the runner-up stays in the runner-up spot. Yeah. So this is not... It shows that those brawls then are closer, or at least in this matchup, they are closer than you would think. I will be sad to see Patty leave just because I do like Patty. It's got a good place in my heart from my first dry drinking whiskey. And I do like the upgraded version of the cork. Which is also why I feel an attachment to Jameson because it is the first whiskey I ever drank. Oh, so looking at our poll that we did on our community tab. So if you go to our channel and go to the community tab, you'll see a polls for our upcoming brawls and what just to get what people think. According to our poll, 42% 42% of you believe that Patty was going to remain the current champion. 25% of you voted for Bushmills, and 25% of you Jameson, with only 8% voting for Hellcat Maggie. I do agree with the Hellcat Maggie being a fairly decisive last. Yeah. And on the, right, on the cool side, we get to maintain the Bushmills Jameson rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as per tradition, we will go ahead and mix these all up for the toast. Until next time, and the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May always be the other guy who says, This drink's on me. me.